I am apparently try bringing illicit cargo into Wolf 359. Ah, that would have been nice to know a little bit earlier, but oh well. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. And I'm taking this to a planetary asteroid. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good evening, whatever you may be. My name is Endug, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I have uh, taken a little bit of a break from uh, the Turning the Wheel initiative, par partially because it's still status quo. However, I am back in Hutton space, operating for the venerable Hutton, Op Hutton Orbital Trucking Cooperative in Epsilon Indy because there is a bit of an outbreak there, and I am apparently tra bringing illicit cargo into Wolf 359. Ah, that would have been nice to know a little bit earlier, but oh well. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. And I'm taking this to a planetary outpost. So there's not a lot of maneuverability for uh, avoiding scans on that one. But it's very close to the main star. Mr. Peter. No, thank you. Hmm. Oh, you're a novice. Yes, yes. I think, I think I will introduce you to my plasmas. Yup, 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 yup. Give me a moment. Um, Bring it around, bring it around, lead, and boom. Helps if I have more power into weapons. But, my friend, you are operating ships. <laughs> that was almost very, very bad. Even though I have shields and he does not. Just a little bit of annoyance. Oh, hell no. You are not running away. No, you do not get to escape. Now, where was I? Delivering these uh, perfectly venerable liquor, which is apparently illegal in Wolf 359. You think after the Borg and everything, they would want it, but oh well. Oh wait, wrong verse. Well, whatever. And I'm moving far too fast. Relativistic speeds and all. But yeah, an outbreak in Epsilon Indy because, well, uh, it was very profitable to be delivering bio waste into that system for a while. And bio waste, even though the description says that it is perfectly sterile, is not. It promotes all kinds of outbreaks. So, as they say in. Uh, 2020, wash your hands. The same goes for 3306. And I swear I will try to knock off the faux Russian accent. Unless you like it. 
But uh, I have a mission for delivering performance enhancers back at uh, Mansfield Orbiter, if I remember correctly. Back in Epsilon Indy. Thankfully, the uh, good ship for the mug, Alvin's Mercy, is on station. Actually, right next to the station, so it's a short trip. Hop, skip, and a jump to bring those over. And they are loaded with performance enhancers and all kinds of other medical goodies. So whatever the mug needs, the mug shall provide. And in the meantime, I'm also taking uh, missions out of the system. Preferably food, preferably goods that can be uh, used elsewhere, like these apparently illegal liquor in this system. I do not understand why it's illegal. I'm not particularly sure who owns the system and why it's illegal, but whatever. Because I don't have anything else that could be illicit in this system. But that's what the what she wrote, and that's what the game says. I shall make my delivery, so mine is not to question why, mine is just to do or die. And once again, I did not have limpets or a limpet controller to pick up the materials that that ship dropped, which is unfortunate because I can always use materials for engineering, which I will eventually get done. I wasn't even paying attention to what the gravity of this planet is. 0.37, that's not bad. My ship's drives are oddly quiet. But then again, I did kind of punch it the moment I got into, uh, once I dropped out of... Oh crap, it crashed. Close the program. And restart. One moment, everyone. That's a... I will, uh, bring it back up once I'm, uh, back in game. Well, I got closer this time. This is the third attempt to get here. So, maybe I won't wind up a uh, hundred kilometers away. Basically, in uh, space. And 7.5, there we go. My landing pad is right over there. the landing gear as brakes. Because if I can at least get to the landing pad, if it crashes again, I can log back in and deliver the goods and then get the hell out. Oh, God damn it! I know I use them as arresting hooks, but what am I stuck on? Um, this is interesting. Oh wow, I was caught on the landing gear. I wasn't caught on the on my arresting hooks this time. That's a new one. Like I wedged it onto the onto the blast onto the flash shield back there. That's hilarious. That is a new one. I love it when I do something new and crazy. It's fantastic. Alrighty then. Come on, load up, load up, load up. All I ask is that you load up. There we go. Here's your liquor. And uh, decisions maximize influence because I'm delivering to uh, 
from Hutton to Hutton or take the money. Let's see, we're at 51% here. I'm going to take the money and run. Go on, take the money and run. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got here? Can I get the performance enhancers there, here? Oh, medicines, 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 just basic medicines. Huh. I mean, we are, we are needing it in Epsilon Indy. Most likely, anyway. We want an imager. What the hell's that? Questions for another time. Ah, uh, survival food cartridges. Don't need that. Atmospheric processes. That's a thing that uh, could be used in Epsilon Indy. Crop harvesters. That's definitely used in Epsilon Indy. Uh, Mansfield Orbiter. And let's get to it. Let's load up on these and then. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. Epsilon Indy. Take this load to Mansfield Orbiter, then start shuttling supplies over from uh, the Alvin's Mercy. There we go. And get away from this cursed planet as quickly as I can. Which I will have to jump to Super Cruise before I can jump to hyperspace too. Landing off. But that's uh, one of the one of them things you got to deal with sometimes. And I think the helper is busted. Uh, the magic mouth is saying I approached Vert's pride. And I'm like, no, I wasn't there. As far as I know. And now we're escaping the gravity well. That's the nice part about this. It'll be faster if I just go straight out, basically. Much faster. Helps if I throttle up, too. So now I can slingshot around this planet that much faster. Gravity can be your friend, see? Also, before I forget, thank you very much to whoever subscribed to my channel. You are my 51st subscriber. I know I've said that before. However, somebody apparently dropped after the finale of, uh, hello, of, uh, Subnautica. So I guess they were only along for the ride for that series. But, uh, thank you very much for whoever you were for subscribing and thank you very much to my newest subscriber you have uh, deigned to remain anonymous what uh, 
I appreciate it nonetheless. And we are going back to Epsilon Indy once again. And then once I get this, uh, once I get this delivery, I think I'm gonna just start shoveling materials from Alvin's Mercy back to uh, Mansfield Orbiter and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Although it's only gonna take me a couple of runs anyway. Because I only need about a 450, 440 some odd tons of performance enhancers. And uh, thankfully, Alvin's Mercy has a lot of those. But on the same coin, it's a short trip. And I have almost 200 tons of cargo space available. I could drop some tools. Like my, um, what was it again? What's the word? What's the word? Interdictor. I don't necessarily need it for such a short jump, and I've also dropped all my uh, wanted statuses at the moment, which that's subtly going well. So, there's that. But anyway, the tomorrow, the next tick should bring us on the Turning the Wheel initiative to our new home. For the dark wheel and if that is the case well uh, we're probably going to have a war on our hands speaking of wars there is a thing going on with the anti-xeno initiative they have their own uh, they have their own community initiative going on with a uh, with a paint no, not paint job a decal available of anybody that takes a Thargoid heart to the an anti-Xeno initiative ship. I can't remember the uh, particular ship or where it's located off the top of my head, but if you take a Thargoid heart there, you will be awarded a fancy new decal for the Art of War initiative, where the Anti-Xeno initiative is uh, going and collecting Thargoid parts in an attempt to camouflage their megaships from, you guessed it, the Thargoids. I'm not entirely sure how well that's going to work out, because uh, Thargoid parts are incredibly corrosive. Like, even the... Uh, even the idea of a shotgun full of sodium bicarbonate doesn't really do anything to neutralize their blood. That kind of corrosive. But that's beside the point. I may uh, find myself out there at some point. Or at least I'll try to, anyway. And we shall see what uh, comes of it. Although I'll probably do that on my main rather than on this flight. As much flight time as I do have on the end of Command Shadow Stalker is much more equipped for that kind of wet work. Although I may see if I can get some help with it from the from the anti-Xeno initiative. That would be uh, very nice. Ooh, Indie Bourbon. I could buy that and sell it somewhere else, but I'll worry about that later. Oh, right. I don't have any performance enhancers to sell right now. There we go. Sold the crop harvesters. And now... And where is... Aha! Uh, there it is. It's probably on the opposite side of the s of not the star of the planetoid. 0.17 light seconds. That's not too far away. But anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. Today was a bit a uh, bit of an exciting one. I had a pirate show up, and then I had crashes, and then all sorts of craziness. And there's somebody just flying right behind me. I almost slammed my nose straight into it. 
Oh well. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and click that little bell for notifications, and to join me in my eternal crusade against YouTube and its surfing algorithms. And hopefully, I will see you all in the next video.